Hi everyone, in this short video I'm going to showcase how to activate gravity within a scene by using fuel cell solvers. So let's get started. The first thing I want to do is I want to make sure that I have a rigid body on this one, a passive rigid body so that nothing gets past it. Basically that would act as my floor or as a tabletop or something like that. So I'm going to select it and under the effects drop down menu I am going to go to fuel solvers and choose this to be my passive rigid body. So that's the first thing. Second thing I want to do is I want to select the ball and this ball is going to be dropping down. It's going to hit that very first domino and all the dominoes are going to tumble down. So I need to make that an active rigid body. So I'll go under field solvers and make that an active rigid body. So when I play this back, what's going to happen is that ball is going to do nothing actually. If you see, I'm playing this back and nothing happens. And the reason for that is because this is hanging in the air. There's no gravity attached to it. So if I want to add gravity to that object, I need to select it and add a uh, gravity solver to it, which is under the field solvers, create gravity for that specific object. Now you have other options such as air, drag, and so on. So you can play with those for your scenes. In this case, we're only focusing on gravity. So if I click gravity, it creates a node for gravity for you. And you actually have the ability to control that gravity from here. The magnitude of gravity controls the amount of gravity there, there is, how strong the gravity is. By default, this is physically correct, 9.8. So that's the value of actual gravity in the world. Once I play this back, notice that the ball bounces off the object. And you'll notice that my ball is kind of bouncing in slow motion. And the reason for that, there are several reasons for it. The first one is that when you start doing physics in Maya, you need to make sure that if things are not playing at the playback speed that you intend them to be, in this case 24 FPS, looks like it's a little slow. Let's go ahead and change the, the settings on my playback by clicking on the running man with the gear. Instead of playing playback speed 24 times 1, I want to make sure that I play every frame. So when I do that, basically I'm given enough time for the program to calculate each one of the physical changes that is occurring on the scene and apply them to the different objects. So when I play this back, you'll notice that it's playing super fast now. And the reason for that is because now it doesn't have that much to calculate as it did before. But let's keep it like so for now. Now let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and select the dominoes. And I want to go ahead and uh, make them all active rigid bodies as well. So I'll go field solvers, active rigid bodies, which is right here, create active rigid bodies. And let's play this back and see what happens. So when I'm dropping this, you'll notice that the dominoes kind of like fly into space as they get hit by the ball. And the reason for that is because there's nothing pulling them down towards the floor either. So they also need gravity solvers for them. So let me have them all selected and go under field solvers and add gravity. Now I have the two gravity fields, one for the ball, one for the dominoes. And you can actually make everything one single gravity solver if you want to. That will work as well. Let's go ahead and play this back. And now my dominoes drop onto the table. Now you'll notice that the ball is dropping in and pushing the dominoes so that they fall. If this is playing way too fast now, let's go ahead and go back again to the um, preferences for the motion for the timetable for the um, playback speed and go ahead and switch that back to 24 FPS times one, save. And let's play this back and see what happens. So this shows us a little bit of slow motion, but it is showing us the solver. Now, when I go render this, what's going to happen is this is going to cache and it's going to be playing back when I pre, uh, when I composite it. It's going to play back at regular speed because it is being played at 24 FPS. 